Pacific Island Ethnic Art Museum, also known as Payam, here in the beautiful city of Long Beach, California. I am your host with the most, Miss Lulu, and I would like to welcome you to Island Blog Jam Sessions, where music and mana meet. Brought to you by the Roomba Foundation of Long Beach. Just another sunny day here in beautiful California, and the vibe is just right to enjoy some Pacifica music, art, and culture, alongside some ono kind grinds from chillin' and grillin'. We wanted to welcome everyone to our virtual backstage amongst this ancestral landscape. You can feel the mana vibrate throughout Payam as we get ready to bring out today's featured jam session artist. Please welcome singer-songwriter, all the way from the big island of Carson, the Hawaiian himself, Bo Napoleon. What does it mean to you to perform here live at Payam in front of friends, family, and community? I mean, it means the world to me, to me um, Auntie Fran, and you know, it, it was heavy walking in and feeling that responsibility. I, I hold being um, Polynesian to the utmost of my responsibility. As a human, I, I wake up, this is who I am, and I just love that I get to share my aloha today with everyone, my music. That's awesome. Being that you're Kanaka Maoli, how do you preserve the culture through your music? I was born, I mean, this is me. I wake up, I'm Hawaiian, yeah. you know? Like that's, I'm just the epitome of being Hawaiian and not only being Hawaiian, but being Hawaiian from California. You know, I wasn't born, born in Hawaii, but I feel like I was born and raised a Hawaiian. My dad is from Nanakuli, my mom is from Aea. So I hold being Hawaiian from California, you know, I, I'm very proud of to be that. And I try to show that through my music and, and with all my, my lyrics and trying to represent my parents, my, my grandparents, you know, my ancestors in, in a good light. And now you have your own children too and legacy that proceeds. Yep. That's so incredible. Last question and then I'll let you jam out. <laughs> what does mana mean to you? M mana for me is like uh, when, I, when I share my music or when I dance, I like to leave everything out there for me. After a show, I have to, you know, kind of wind down because I, I give it everything. For me, mana is from, from your heart. It's from, I, f I feel it through my, my culture and being, being Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. You just exude it, and we definitely feel the mana today having you here and the rest Thank of you. the band. We're so excited. Thank you, guys. <laughs> No, with no further ado, with that note, Island Block Jam Sessions, let's get jamming, shall we? Performing once again here, our featured artist here at Payam. Give it up for Bo Napoleon. A little song called With Me Girl for everybody. Get them, get them, no. By the end of the night, you'll be my guy. 
That's all the lovers in the house. I wrote this for my mom and my dad because they always uh, fighting. Whatever. Song called Without Question.
take some questions from you guys. Let us all call if that's okay. Wow, that performance was incredible. Can we get another round of applause, please, for Bo Napoleon? Before we actually turn it over to the audience, could you please introduce the rest of your band, your whole band? To my right, my pops, Nappy. <laughs> Hello, on Cajon, my brother Gerald. Akaninga, <laughs> on the bass, my brother Juan Rios. 
Thank you so much. Okay, now at this point, we are going to let you, the audience, have a chance to ask a couple of questions to Bo Napoleon. Yes, we have a question. Thank you. Thank, thank you for having us. Um, just wanting to know what's one of your favorite songs to perform and why? Oh, um, I actually, one of, one of my favorite songs I don't, I don't really perform, it's called uh, No Place Like Home. Well, for one, it has my, um, my daughter on the cover and I, I hit it on the nail with the lyrics, you know, so I don't, I don't know, I just, but it doesn't really go in my set, so I don't really play it too often on my live show, but if you come in and check out, like, my acoustic when I'm playing with my pops and, and my brother, um, it kind of goes better with that, that whole vibe, but No Place Like Home is, is one of my favorite songs. To perform, it's probably um, nice to see you trying, because everyone, like, the call back and answer call is probably my favorite. Thank you so much for the question, Clarissa. I hope that answered it for you. you In other Clarissa. words, he was pretty much saying, I rock, right? <laughs> I'm so good. Some songs I don't even share with you because the lyrics <laughs> are just blow your mind. <laughs> Do we have another question from the audience? I'm looking right at you right here in the front. Yes, okay. <laughs> Peer pressure. <laughs> Hi, um, what's the creative process behind making a song? I think for, for me, it's funny because like, Anyone that's around me, like, they'll get annoyed. Like, if they say something, I'll be like, oh, man, that's a song. One of my best friends in, in songwriting, he goes by the name of Vincent Berry. He said that the best songwriters are the best listeners. So I took that. So, like, there's songs everywhere. So I, I kind of let the universe write my songs, mostly. It goes from voice note, then I'll put it on, like, on my computer, and then I'll send it out to my guys like Juan Rios, DJ Irie, uh, my boy Chaz, and, and let the professionals handle that, and then... For me, that's it. It starts with me, ends with my friends, and we get it going. That is so cool. And man, we definitely feel the magic when you come up with these songs. And it's a collaborative, collective effort, right? To make these oh, yeah. come true. Uh, do we have another question? Hi, half a day. Thank you for being here, everybody. Um, in sharing your music and your art practice, what family story do you feel is being healed in your own body? It kind of gives me a chance to share share myself because I didn't I didn't start as a musician like this is like what found me you know music found me I I grew up thought my whole life I thought I'd be playing in the Super Bowl right now <laughs> that's you know so so for me music kind of kind of saved me and gave me a way to you know still touch people you know and I feel like I don't think I, I would have been able to touch as many lives if I didn't find music and you know, I, I can't with my sports career. I feel like I'm, I'm where I'm at, I'm supposed to be, and you know, happy to be here. Thank you for the question from Sam here at Piam. Is there any last thoughts that you have, Mr. Bo? Man, th this is amazing. Thank you everyone for being here. Dave, thank you, all films, man. It's being able to share it here and with everyone here, to, to be with my, my dad, my brother, my, my brother from another mother, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing to share, share my music with you guys, and, and uh, I just, I can't wait to share more. It's coming. Can we give another round of applause, please, for this amazing, incredibly talented artist who not only collaborates with so many different artists, so much music that we have out there, especially in the community. We don't even know that this man has had a hand in it. As you heard, Common Kings is part of them. I mean, every island artist that is on the map right now, Bo Napoleon has had some hand in it, and we appreciate your gift in sharing it with us always. I don't know about you, but I am speechless. It has been a beautiful day for the culture, and you cannot deny the mana that is vibrating throughout this whole space today. Thank you to our featured artist, the Karsten Kanaka himself, Mr. Bo Napoleon, for blessing us with that special performance, yes, and for giving us Yes, for giving us a deeper look into his musical journey. Shout out to Chef Ale with Chillin' and Grillin' for providing the Ono Kind Grinds. A very special thanks to our family here at the Pacific Island Ethnic Art Museum, Payam, for allowing us to showcase island block jam sessions, as well as the wonderful folks at the Roomba Foundation of Long Beach for supporting Pacifica music, art, and culture. And thank you all for hanging out with us today. 
Join us next time for another episode of Island Block Jam Sessions where music and mana meet here at the beautiful Pacific Island Ethnic Art Museum as we bid you farewell from the LBC. Tofa soy fua, aloha, and chihu!